concerning these matters I have, in my sermons, been accustomed to draw four conclusions. The first of these is that the death of Antichrist and the end of the world will occur at the same time. The shortness of the duration of the world after the death of Antichrist has led me to this conclusion. For nowhere in the whole Bible or in the writings of the doctors can I find a longer period assigned by God for the repentance of those whom Antichrist has seduced than 45 days after his death. We read in the prophecy of Daniel and from the time when the continual sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination of desolation shall be set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh unto one thousand three hundred and thirty-five days. Now, according to the gloss and the commentaries of the doctors, the first number to wit, one thousand two hundred and ninety days, equivalent to three and a half years, is the period during which Antichrist reigns as king. Now, 45 is the number which must be added to this to make 1335 days. And to this number, 45 is understood by the doctors to refer to the duration of the world after the death of Antichrist. St. Vincent Ferrer in Letter to Antipope Benedict XIII.